Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Covenant of the Holy Plumage, and we have vassalized the true Alari Horde, and we are working on vassalizing the greater Alari Khanet. So let's get into it. Unpause. All of our fleets are moving. Some of them a little faster than others. And Scientist Eagle Claw has died at the age of 127. Eagle Claw 3. Alright, let's go ahead and recruit a new Eagle Claw. There we go. And you need to get back to assisting research. There we go. So I was noticing that uh, some of these uh, debris projects didn't get picked up by our um, our ship, so I'm going to need to go do this one. This one uh, ends a lot sooner than the others, so... Once these are done, I'm going to probably go back and get that one. Let's see, when does this, uh... Yeah, 1227. It's still got a lot left. Uh, it is election time. We only have three for some reason, but, um, you know. Uh, I am just going to abstain. Let's see if this is going to be Artemis 2. Yep. It's good. Happiness and uh, growth speed are pretty good. Unfortunately, our colony drop strike force does take the brunt of our uh, attacks. For a cleaner galaxy. Plasma thrusters, physics research, engineering research. Good Not business shabby. is where you find it. Research actualized. All right, Zvard's rust has been uh, colonized. Um, really isn't anything special about this. Could use some more uh, energy credits though. So do two generator districts and two city districts. I hate that generator districts have upkeep. I really do. Upscaling complete. We also got predictive algorithms. Let's go for the uh, advanced reactor boosters because that's the quickest. No armies, which means we will go ahead and just land and take that. Hi guys, how's it going? Guess what? We brought presents for you. Attempting to acquire planetary market. I think we succeeded in that. Get you back following. Okay, now all of you guys. We will go ahead and make our way there. They have produced a few more Corvettes. They actually have a different design now. Uh, let's see, Crystalline Sensors is uh, expired. You know what? Let's actually um, also do... Exotic Gases as Fuel. Exotic gases for shield boost, volatile ammunition, volatile explosives, volatile reactive armor, and 
and a focusing crystals. Why not? I'll just do them all. I've got enough of those things. I do actually need to pr get a few more exotic Research gases. So let's actually uh, do something about that. Let's bump that up. Alright, plasma thrusters we've uh, gotten from our debris, plus 10%, plus 10 physics research, plus 5 engineering research. Okay, there's nothing else to get there. And we'll come back up here and get that. Scaling complete. Let's see, Heliodor has a spare building slot. Let's get the uh, Research Institute. Big fan of the Research Institute. Any uh, branch offices that we can get? Nope. Uh, let's see. Donate. Yeah, we'll donate. Thank you. Lost a lot of Corvettes. Let's get rid of these destroyers in the list. Let's get another battleship. Okay. You're at full. What about you? Uh, you're at Research full. Actualized. Okay. Create resort world. So, uh, Resort World Modifier added, adding the following effects. Other Empire Colonies, Amenities plus 15%, Immigration Pole plus 15%, Habitability plus 100%, plus one Clerk Job per two pops. This world is set aside as a peaceful resort world, attracting tourists and visitors from far away. To preserve the planet's natural beauty, construction on the surface is severely limited. So you lose all districts, but uh, uh, you do have all of the... Uh, um, the building slots available. Um, so we will definitely consider that, but that is uh, a reason to get the Paradise Dome. So we will get that. Let's see, Sniffleheim has a spare building slot. What do we want? Ministry of Production. Production is... It is actually going to help. we got civilian fabricators. Yeah, we'll go with that. Not sure what world would be a good one to do that on. I guess we could take a look at what we've got uncolonized. And that has unstable tectonics, which is probably not a good thing. Unstable tectonics and low gravity. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll do it with this one. Call it the Isle of the Avatar. Let's go ahead and colonize it. Doesn't have any uh, interesting districts, so, or uh, features. Upscaling complete. 
Upscaling complete. All right, that has already been taken back. Upscaling complete. Research actualized. Upscaling complete. Okay, standardized battleship patterns. Very nice. Uh, Corps of Engineers, construction templates. There's some good stuff. Uh, I think the Corps of Engineers is what we want. Starbase upgrade cost and Starbase upgrade speed. Should we need that kind of thing? Of course, we've already maxed out all of our uh, Upscaling complete. current ones. But we do have a spare building slot that we can do on this planet. What do we got? Uh, they do have some mining districts. But I don't think I care about that. What do we need? We could get some more unity. We get some more science. That's always a good thing. Actually, the uh, smuggler's port for uh, branch office value plus 25% is always good. And merchant jobs for them are really good, too. So, see, they're getting a benefit out of it, even if they're also getting crime. Upscaling complete. Actually, we're going to need to build citadels, so, yeah, that, that would actually be helpful. What does the Alari successor continent have stuff here? Hmm. They have any planets? They do have planets that they could theoretically colonize. That is all Combat very strange. For a cleaner galaxy. Physics research and engineering research, plus 30 and plus 20. guys should probably uh, go here, and then here, and then down here. Where does this go? It goes into their space. They're taking their stuff back. Wasn't there someone in on one of these? Yeah, Galvaco. That was that was colonized. All right, so a ship upkeep and naval capacity. Yes, please. Let's grab that. Which also means that we can reinforce. Don't need to reinforce. After the recent victory in the Gorham system, Admiral Rackin, uh, who has not been renamed, uh, has developed a new interest in naval theory, gain the trickster trait. That's pretty good. sure where you're going. But whatever. Right? What are you working on? Naval Logistics Office? Oh, we haven't even gotten that yet. I thought that had finished, which is why I'd bumped up my naval capacity earlier. 
Apparently not. Well, we'll see what this puts us up to as well. <clears throat> Combat detritus reprocessed for a cleaner galaxy. All right, plus ten percent towards Ripper Upstate cannons. Complete. Uh, plus sixty physics research, plus five phys uh, society research, and thirty-five engineering. And that gets us up to four oh eight. Not too shabby. We could definitely bump up our uh, fleet command limit now. Okay, we've capped out on a few things again. Alright, I'll take a little bit of capping out on uh, that. That's fine. Um... Alright, well, I don't really need more alloys. Although... There might be something else that we could do. We'll disband that. And oh no, I need uh, I need a lot more influence to build the uh, habitat. All right, well that's what we're gonna save up some influence for. Uh, since we are capped out on energy credits, and there's nothing really that I need more of. I mean, I could buy some more alloys, but I'd need to immediately do something with them, and I've already queued up some reinforcements there. Uh, let's go to the contacts and let's speak to the uh, caravansary. So we can play the slots, but we need caravan coins. So let's go ahead and do so. We can buy 26k caravan coins. Sure, that's only 8450 energy credits. Uh, we can open a reliquary. We can purchase a reliquary for 6194.21 caravan coins. Sure. While empty, the inner walls of the reliquary are pitted and scarred. Traces of biological material can be recovered from the deeper pockets. So we get a thousand um, society research. Okay. Uh, they need some more time to prepare another one. Alright, so we'll just play the slots. You have a statistically extant chance to win big. Sure, of course we do. For 2783, let's pull the lever. One after another, the reels come to a halt and... Score? Nothing. Right, let's pull the lever again. Nothing. Right, let's do it again, pull the lever. Nothing. And pull the lever again. And we get 500 caravan coins. That, that's not very good. Alright, so we've done that. We'll wait for them to uh, prepare another reliquary. I know you can get some interesting things uh, out of it. I also know you're not very likely to. <laughs> All right, seriously, you are uh, you are way out distancing everyone else here. Well, at least there's no actual station here. Upscaling complete. Seems kind of bad on their part, but. Upscaling complete. What are you gonna do, right? Dungeon Deceit can build a new building. Upscaling uh, complete. Let's actually Upscaling complete. queue up those. Q 
you up that. And this one insulted us. Let's get the moat harvesting traps. The true Alari Horde, covered into the holy plumage products, straight from the bargain bin to the garbage bin. Excuse me, that's very rude. You know we're going to have to do something about that, right? Mm, I guess we'll turn this into a science world as well. Get some research labs. Research actualized. And idyllic architecture is now ours. Um, let's get the food processing centers. Vesper has a new slot. Upscaling this complete. is a tech world, which is researcher output, so we will get another research lab. Cove is an agri world. So we will get a uh, hydroponics farm. Trinsic. Okay, so let's see. So we've got three exotic gas refineries, three chemical plants. Let's get a synthetic um, crystal building thingy. And you know what? I think that we will replace this with the Research Institute. You can get something else. Uh, let's get the temple. Okay, and our uh, transport fleet. Go ahead and land armies here. Oh, you are very slow. Probably doesn't help that you're following one of the last fleets. Alright, let's see. Um, not a particularly powerful fleet there. Where does that go? That Right, that just goes down there. We'll just take all that. Assuming that this doesn't just automatically uh, win the war for us. Complete. They do have a single army. A single defensive army. Enterprise upsizing. Hello. Seizure of planetary asset. How's it going? Guess what? We brought cookies. Delicious, delicious non-silicon based cookies. Planetary market secured. Thank you. Governor gained a trait. Veronica has the intellectual trait now. And I am actually going to go have you follow the colony drop strike force there we go research actualized and I'm capped out on alloys all right advanced reactor boosters that is now ours um 
All right, the proton launchers are the cheapest, so we'll get, grab that. We are capped out on alloys, so what do we want to do? We're getting 255. Well, Moonglow can get a building built at least. Research Institute. Thanatos, you can get another one of those built. And hydroponics farm. So if I say, all right, I'm, I'm good on food, I don't need to build more, then there's going to come a point where it's just going to crash. <laughs> and I'll be like, why am I not getting, you know, why, why, where did all this go? Oh, the Xeno Outreach Agency is a corporate building. I didn't realize that. Uh, immigration poll, is that to our empire? I guess so. I don't know that I care about that. Um, we will take the uh, smuggler's port. Not really a fan of how immigration works, because, like, here we are, we've got 1,177 pops in our... Uh, Empire, and uh, of those, where are the Phasians? Uh, oh, they're all the way up at the top. So we've got 90 of our own pops. We've got 116 half Copenjoxy. That should not really happen, I feel like. Like, we've got Rapid Breeders, and the Half Cope and Joxy do not. I mean, they are enduring, so arguably that would work that way, but it, it's, like, kind of ridiculous how, um, how many there are, given that... You know, this is our empire. This is, uh, I, and I've been colonizing with my own people. Um, and that's the other thing is like, when you colonize and you have that, uh, un uh do, do, do. the new colonies start with one additional pop, it's random what they get. It is random what they get, and that seems dumb to me. Like, it should always be an, a, another pop of the one that you colonized with. So. Anyway, uh... Let's look for other star bases that might need some uh, defenses. And, in fact, this one around the black hole probably will, because... It has the L gate. Let's just build all those. All right, but it is about time to end the episode. Uh, before we do that, let's take a quick look at our trade. Okay, so we are still getting piracy here. That is crazy. A little, a little bit of piracy there, but not too much. Um, gonna have to swap out some of these, I think. Get some extra protection there. All right, well, I guess the trade hub doesn't isn't really necessary here. So we'll get another hangar bay. See if we can fix this piracy issue in, in Atlas without having to build, just 
build a station there. Uh, one thing that will solve it is when I can eventually build um, gateways, and I don't have the tech for that. When I can build a gateway, I'll just build a gateway in Argos, and then that'll bypass a lot of the uh, a lot of the issues. Because part of the problem is just how much trade is coming through this this area. Yeah, I mean, there's there's 942 trade value coming through this system. That is a lot. So once I get a uh, um, a gateway here, then basically every single like you know right here. All of this stuff will come to here, and then rather than jump up to here and then go through here, uh, or you know, go over here and then go through here, it will just go straight into the system. It's one of the nice things about gateways. But that will all be later. See you then, everyone.